week we told you about how LMPD's chief was suspended in Atlanta for going through a fellow detective's desk looking for an investigative file on her brother-in-law. She was caught on video, and then the records say that she lied about it. Today, Wade News troubleshooter Natalia Martinez took a look at just how serious that criminal investigation actually was. The personnel file into LMPD's chief from Atlanta police goes into great detail about her brother-in-law and in the crime that he was accused of, which is causing issues for the new chief here at LMPD two decades later. It was a drug investigation in Atlanta, Georgia, complete with crack cocaine, informants, and guns. It's a case that 20 years later is coming back to haunt LMPD's current and well-liked chief, Jacqueline Gwynn Villaroel. That's because Villaroel's brother-in-law was the main suspect. We went through the file to find out more about the drug investigation that led to Villaroel being suspended after being caught on video, searching the lead investigator's cubicle for the file, and then lying about it. Her brother-in-law was described as a mid-level drug dealer by Atlanta police at the time. In 2003, he was pulled over and found with 10 ounces of cocaine and a gun. But her brother-in-law was already under surveillance as part of a drug trafficking investigation. Detectives searched his auto repair shop, suspected as a front to sell drugs. They didn't find any cars being worked on, but they did find a kilo of crack cocaine and six guns. Villa Royal would stay at Atlanta Police and rise to the rank of major before coming to Louisville along with the previous chief, Erica Shields. Villa Royal said she worked to gain trust back after this incident and that it wasn't a reflection of her career today. It may still cause her trouble, though, because she was found to be untruthful the before uh, presenting and it's still going to present problems for her if she ever has to testify in court again. The redacted personnel file is on our website, wave3.com, for you to read for yourself. Natalia Martinez, Wave News.